Mukbang. All right, we are live. Another year, another perfume international concert. Hey guys, uh, this is once again your man Ken over in LA. We're planning out world tour fourth future pop. Los Angeles. I'm your host once again, Ken, aka Fish, and. Uh, we are starting up. So, hello to everybody. Uh, if you are just joining us, again, we are planning uh, Future Pop Los Angeles. This is mostly just to get ideas. We don't really have any concrete plans or anything. We only uh, have, you know, some few ideas of uh, pre what we've done previously. We'll throw those out. And we would also love to hear any ideas that you guys have. Um, even if we don't use it, maybe those ideas will like uh, tick off something in our heads that will give us some really great ideas that we could do for uh, the last leg of World Tour 4th Future Pop. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so first on our agenda, we have uh, the website that we have used previously. Uh, the Earl is welcome to perfumeworld.wordpress.com and uh, if you guys remember it looked like this let me just bring that up here for a second here we go so uh, this is the website we used for Cosmic Explorer uh, as you can see uh, it's Right now, it's still the old Cosmic Explorer site. I am going to be editing the menu up here. So here's, uh, again, Cosmic Explorer and the previous sites I created for each of the venues. You're going to see um, Future Pop up here. Uh, I don't know uh, how long this is going to take, though, because we're a little strapped for time with all our busy lives and whatnot. But I will be trying to get at least Los Angeles on there when our plans are concrete. So uh, I will go ahead and post that up on the various uh, perfume uh, groups, uh, Perfume City Forums, the Perfume Fans uh, website, both USA and the uh, regular J-pop one, uh, as well as the uh, Perfume subreddit. So... Uh, Next, we will be looking at uh, the, we'll be talking about the events, and namely the after party. So, uh, don't mind that. <laughs> if you hear a little chainsaw buzzing action in the background, it's... Jason's uh, here. <laughs> uh, we're currently holed up and we're going to not be killed soon. So, anyway. Um, so... The <laughs> events that we're thinking of, really, we're only looking at after party. Why no pre-party? Because the San Jose concert is on the 17th, which is a Wednesday, I believe. Do you guys remember? Yes. San Jose will be on Wednesday, um, the 17th, and Perfume will be performing in LA on Friday, the 19th. So that doesn't give a lot of time, especially the, for those who are uh, going to the San Jose concert. I'm sure if we had some sort of uh, uh, like uh, timing or if we had like at least a few days, that would be great. But given two days for people to who are most likely going to drive from San Jose down here to L.A., what is that? Um, five hours. Five hours. We want them to rest. We want them to, you know, four. get uh, get hyped for the LA concert. So, a pre-party is very, very unlikely. That said, uh, going into the uh, venues, um, we were looking at three of them. So we have uh, the Ace Hotel. Um, the great thing about the Ace Hotel is that uh, it's 
right on premises. I mean, the concert's going to be there, right? So they have a, quite a few meeting rooms. They have also some guest suites. So if the meeting rooms are running a little expensive, or we, you know, we might not have a lot of people there, since the LA leg has the least amount of people, uh, maybe we'll do a guest suite. The only concern with that is, if, you know, noise. The really cool thing about the, the suites are it has like an outside balcony thing, which we can very fully utilize. But uh, do you guys have any info about the Ace Hotel or any comments about that? I'll get back to you next meeting. <laughs> Everybody's out doing their own thing. You can see them. Anthony's getting down over there. So, uh, next, we're thinking of going to, or, uh, we're thinking of having, once again, Hondaya as the venue. That's just an idea. So, for those who remember, in World Tour 3rd, uh, for the LA leg, we had the pre-party at Hondia, and it was very successful. A lot of you guys liked it. Um, we took up the whole tatami mat area of Hondia, and we went way over capacity, and we made a huge ruckus, and it was great. Um, the thing with Hondia is, it will if we do decide to have it there, it's going to be a bit more expensive assuming we don't have some sort of donations because what we did with World Tour 3rd was excuse me we had donations uh, set up and we had uh, a good chunk of change to help offset those uh, entry fee costs such as you know first having it on Hondia which luckily they didn't have like a uh, a fee for having it there it's just basically paying for the food and whatnot but um, I think it was $20 entrance? $25. 25 entrance. And if we don't have a such a funding, for lack of better words, uh, we can probably expect upwards of 35 to 60 per person for Honda. I don't know if you guys were okay with that. Um, but that's uh, something to note. And if we do decide to go with that, you know, of course, we'll keep everybody updated. And if you guys have any other ideas, uh, whether it be near the Ace Hotel. Oh, the other thing is Hondia. And the next uh, suggestion, which is uh, Suihiro, uh, both are like six minutes away. I would highly suggest not walking there. Take a lift. Take your car, um, you know, public transportation, assuming it's still open. Uh, downtown LA is pretty dangerous for those who don't know. Uh, but the areas that we will be having, both the concert and the area, hopefully that we're going to have the after party in, is going to be a safer neighborhood, quote unquote safer. So just uh, be wary, you'll be okay. But... That said, uh, please do take your, you know, some sort of vehicle or something to the uh, to the venue, to the after party venue, if you can. Uh, that's it. Anyway, moving on. The uh, Hondia and Suihiro are both six minutes away uh, via car from the Ace Hotel. Uh, so... Uh, Suihiro we did for Cosmic Explorer and that was our pre-party and that was really really cool um, the owner of Suihiro basically closed down the shop and allowed us to uh, have it have our after party there or pre-party there and it was quite nice uh, my concern with Suihiro is that we will be closing down a business basically for our own you know and enjoyment we, we and we also have to ask permission from the owner again um the owner is very cool and he basically did the last one uh 
at no cost, basically. Just no, cost no. of the food, not no cost. No profit, rather. Uh, that's something I kind of don't want to have to put him through again. If, you know, we'll certainly ask him, uh, see if it's okay with him. Uh, if he does want it, if he does prefer it at his place, for sure, we'll, we'll have it at Suihiro. Uh, but that's just, you know, me being overly courteous. Uh, do you guys have any ideas or any comments to that? Or any other, like, <clears throat> what would you guys like as far as where to have an after party or where, like, just throw out everything, whatever idea. Ramon! My, my Ramon. concern with having it at Two Heroes Friday nights at Two Heroes are really busy, and to have them have to close down shop for us. Um, you know, they could be losing a large profit margin and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like you might be hourly. asking for too much from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is I not mean, very fair for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, we could have a, maybe like a small pre-concert gathering as opposed to pre-party. You know, something just like two hours before. We'll just have lunch there, hang out, and then go to the concert. That okay. might be something that, you know, is more feasible. We don't have to close down the whole place. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's a lot more viable, honestly. Yeah. Because at just, least um, yeah. it also kind of offsets the, the travel time to Sui Hero. It's yeah. still not quite near the venue. Yeah, it's about a six minute drive mm -hmm. um, from the venue. But mm -hmm. that's considering people who have vehicles. How yeah. about those who do not? Yeah. Especially with Japanese fans going there. I think it would be a lot better if we just set that as like a lunch free hangout. So mm -hmm. they can also explore uh, Little Tokyo if they want to before the event in, in the LA concert where most of the seats are already assigned in the first place. Are, aren't all of them assigned? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And every single one's assigned. Yeah. It's so not we like, are, um, we're not going to be like mosh pitting again. It's not. So that's <laughs> that's <laughs> anything. That's anything. Oh we're going to get, we're going to do that. <laughs> but, and one of the things about that too, since um, people who who went with the Sui Hero part for the pre-party before, at least they have some sort of familiarity with it already. Mm -hmm. So they could probably also aid us with how we can go about with it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be super spectacular because we're going to do that for the after party. Yeah. But it's still good to just like for people to hang around with. Like the, yeah, I mean, people like coming out, you know, even if it's not Japanese fans, people coming from, say, San Francisco or Canada mm -hmm. just want to meet the fans and hang out and... I just yeah. want to hang up before mm -hmm. a concert because it does bring up the hype. Yeah. Actually, that's another thing, just as an offset little tangent. Uh, for any of those who are coming to the L.A. area um, for the whole week, if you're not going to San Jose, uh, please let us know. Uh, maybe we can set up something, maybe, like they said, a gathering or... Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll go to Disneyland. Disneyland! What? That's an idea. <laughs> Take the week we off. Vacation. <laughs> we can go to round one. Round Donations one. Donations are welcome, guys. <laughs> round, uh, round one is a uh, Japanese, basically an arcade. It has lots of stuff over there. Uh, karaoke. We happen yeah, to have karaoke. two or three karaoke. in the LA area. Uh, there is one in uh, City of Industry, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one in Orange. And I think there's one in West LA somewhere. It could be only the two, but um, we definitely have those two. Uh, so that is a great idea if you want to do some Japanese games and you guys don't have that in your area and you're in the, our area, we'll go ahead and show you guys around. That's a good idea. Uh, another thing, going back to the venues, uh, that we do want to consider is... It's, sorry, it's that City of Industry, Santa Ana, and Lakewood. Ah, City of Industry, Santa Ana, and Lakewood. So we do have three. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Wrong one? Yeah, I did go to the uh, Santa Ana one. It's quite a bit smaller than the uh, City of Industry one. I think the City of Industry round one is very is the biggest. Mm -hmm. But the Santa Ana one... Is that the one that's in the, in the mall? Yeah, it's in uh, Main Place in Orange. Yeah, orange? Near Angel Santa Ana. Santa Ana is in Orange. Santa Ana is in Orange. Mm -hmm. um, Something like that. It's Santa Orange, Anna Orange, Orange County. <laughs> so, uh, it has, it seems like it has better amenities. Like the food is better. There's uh, more choice of alcohol on tap. Because I happened to walk by there when I was getting my car serviced. So, 
Um, but like I was saying, the venues uh, for anybody who has suggestions, we do have some um, limitations. And those limitations are that we are going to be having people here that are not of age yet. In other words, they can't have alcohol. Uh, so we will be having 21, uh, oh, 20 okay. and under, and we have to account for that. So we don't want to leave, you know, anybody out who wants to go. Uh, so ideally, what we want, uh, what we could have is something that offers alcohol, but still allows, you know, underage people into the venue, like Hondaya, like Suihiro. That's why those choices came up pretty much immediately. Um so if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, please, please keep those in mind. Oh. No, just go ahead. Splurt it out. You don't have to raise your hand. Yeah, sure. Um, Professor? Because of course, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bossman. <laughs> but, that was um, my old boss's last name. Boss Bossman. Bossman? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's Bossman. <laughs> last name is Bossman. <laughs> If you didn't become a boss, he's failing. It's like this inception kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, that's um, that's in. I feel like most of the things are we're keeping that in mind for people who are also going to San Jose, if in case they cannot. But how about for people who, who are staying? They probably and considering Japanese fans too, who might not be going to the San Jose LA, but they will be arriving in LA. Maybe there might be a possibility to be hosting something either like a Wednesday or a Thursday. Mm -hmm. That could be an idea for them. If I took the week we off. Cannot, if, if we cannot pull up the Friday. Thing. Yeah. And most likely it won't be something heavily planned or a big event. Mm -hmm. It'll just be like, hey guys, you want to hang out? Yeah, it's more like a hang And we'll go. Because yeah. uh, the first time, World Tour 3rd, we planned four events yeah, that was immense planning <laughs> <laughs> so what what we did was um jen planned the uh He's parties the mm -hmm. events so we had yeah. the pre and after party mm -hmm. um the pre-party was the big one and stuff of legend the after party was insanely nice but most people who signed up did not go um uh, and that was uh a little disheartening because not only you know did we you know plan a, a really nice venue for the after party of World Tour Third, the place was really expensive, and since most people did not go, not most, I would say a lot. A lot of people did not go. We ended up eating a lot of that cost. There are some people who saved our butts, uh, and they know who they are, but. You know, that kind of inhibits us from saying, oh, let's have something humongous. Um, but we'll try our best. We'll see what happens. And that's not going to, you know, deter us from anything that, you know, we could do. But it is going to be something in the back of our minds to make sure that both we can, you know, have something feasible for a venue and have something that's, Fun for everybody. Well, with that in mind, since um, this is probably not going to be on the Friday, maybe we can schedule it on a different day. How about trying other locations too that people may have not been to before, like Satel? Oh, right. So I was going into what I did for World Tour Third. So mm -hmm. Jen did the after party and pre party, and then I organized a pretty much a, a Disneyland. Kind of meet up, and it wasn't just it wasn't like a uh, an organized thing. It was just basically we went to Disneyland and we enjoyed the park. That's it. Uh, that could be you know something like that. Just something more casual. And yeah. I also organized a um, a perfume pilgrimage, and what that was. So this is kind of copied from what they did over in Tokyo. Uh, what they did was they took all the places uh in the video macaroni where it was filmed and they showed us around those those venues and that was so cool man and i kind of mimicked that on the uh what the areas of that perfume visited during their time here for the cars 2 premiere the red carpet 
So we took them around, you know, the uh, uh, basically the Hollywood area, Hollywood and Highlands, Walk of Fame, um, a couple of other places. I also like printed out these little like pictures of where <clears throat> perfume stood during those times. Um, we could have something like that, basically just walking around and saying, hey, this is where they were here, this is where they were here kind of thing. Oh yeah, Santa Monica, that was the other place. Mm -hmm. But, you know, along the same lines, uh, like Max was saying, we could go hang out in little Tokyo, we could go hang out in little, I call it little Osaka, the, but it's officially Japantown, and it's a road over in LA called Sawtell. Um, so, yeah. We could do yeah. stuff like that. We could yeah. do the beaches, all sorts of stuff here. Yeah. There's too yeah. much to, to do here, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's almost well. Oh, I don't yeah. want to say it's like Tokyo, I mean, but we also have karaoke there. We have lots mm -hmm. of karaoke. Because I was thinking, like, if we do Honda, yeah, we can do nice karaoke mm -hmm. out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we don't even have to limit it to Japanese. If you guys don't Korean really, barbage. you know. Korean we could go yeah. to Koreatown yeah, Korean if you guys are <laughs> totally down with that. Um, the Korean uh, karaoke places do have perfume in them. So for those who are both into K-pop and, you know, perfume, then J-pop in general, I suppose, you know, we could do that too. Why not? Just throw those ideas out there. Um, honestly, the best place to have... All of these ideas kind of uh, documented is in the Perfume City forums. Uh, that is, if you just uh, Google Perfume City forums, the first result should take you right in there. Uh, and I do have an FPLA, Future Pop LA, thread over there. So if you guys could just reply to that with all of your ideas, whether it be venue, any ideas you have for like gatherings. Yada yada yada. There's a brunch place that has amazing waffles and egg dishes. Um, I'll get the name right now. So but Anthony was saying that there's a brunch that. place. If you didn't hear them, they close at they close at two though, so we would have to go for brunch. Oh, okay. There's so also that, that breakfast place that Perfume went to. Remember? All but the yeah. huge quantities. And yeah, mm -hmm. where it's like huge. And I mean, no, just for a hangout, not like a. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah, like just like hey, people are here and we. Yeah, we just meet up. And I think we people went there actually. One yeah, of yeah. Neil. yeah. It's Neil Isaiah and somebody else. I'm expecting to see Neil on every single promotional <laughs> video that they have for the store. And if he's not going, we're just going to print out a big picture of his face and put well, we're mask. Mask. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to wear a uh, Neil mask. Neil, if you're watching this, I'll be extremely disappointed if you're not in some sort of promotional video, official perfume video. So get on it. <laughs> you know perfume man, you? So, moving on. I'm going to talk about Special Encore. The place is called um, More Than Waffles. No, it's called More Than Waffles. That's a cool place. Or oh, actually, we close at three. So, Special Encore. Most people already know, especially international fans, that what we've been doing at the end of... Oh, actually, one thing, guys. If you're seeing a little bit of glitching on the uh, video there, uh, we apologize, but that is like a thumbs up with we're using OBS to to stream this. Um, so it's kind of uh, bugging out right now. So that's not your stream. That's on our end. So um, uh, don't worry about that. But anyway, moving on. Special Encore. Uh, every international concert that we really had. At the end of the concert, we try to organize everybody to sing some sort of perfume song that has been determined beforehand at the end of the concert after the concert has end um the official concert has ended but before we leave the venue now um we usually organize some sort of flyers we give it out uh hopefully before the concert starts last couple times we just handed it out when everyone was in line problem with that is that there's probably not going to be a line because there's no, um, what do you guys call it again? No pit. No, no pit. pit. Every seat is assigned. 
So it doesn't matter if you get there early or not, you're going to have your seat. So uh, if we do have a flyer, then we we'll need to distribute that somehow later. You can also post it on, on the website. We'll definitely post it on the website. don't get an actual physical flyer. So um, first, uh, I put down, as you can see, uh, any alternative ideas to the special encore. So last year, no, not last year, Cosmic Explorer, uh, we had some ideas going around with like, we would put a blue background on our phones. Uh, that was Ray's idea. You know, it's not a bad idea. Something that was different, you know, and we would, we would do something with that and we we're thinking oh maybe we'll have like a banner or something oh actually that's something we might we, that's still feasible you know have yeah, a big old banner <laughs> how are you gonna bring that in <laughs> we're gonna hide it <laughs> smuggle it we're gonna pocket. smuggle a banner stick it in your bum <laughs> and it would <laughs> say something like oh, la <laughs> loves perfume or something or gummy I, I brought a or speaker <laughs> i brought a speaker like, yeah you can Hold it like a child. <laughs> so, or no, that that's too much. It's like wasn't there like that um, thing in a Japanese concert before with mm -hmm. perfume too, where they celebrated an anniversary and they were handed um, papers. I think that's um, when you look at it, it's not really saying anything or there were like pieces of puzzles. But then when they put it together, it was like a big message. Oh well, yeah, they that's do that for like sports to... games where uh, they put all mm -hmm. the panels together. Yeah, it it's gonna be hard to pull off though, considering the fans. Yeah, because mm -hmm. not only do we need the uh, participation of everyone in the theater, mm -hmm. um, at the end of the concert, everyone's just gonna bolt, you know? Mm -hmm. For goods and whatnot. Yeah, they're just gonna bounce. Hopefully, it'll be like last time where the goods were before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, people are just gonna be like, I'm tired, and I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. Mm -hmm. Just like the after party for World War Third, they didn't go because you know, and you know it's not like we're it, it, mad at anybody for not going. It rightly so they were tired, and you know if you can't go, you can't go. So if you're tired at the end of the concert, most likely you're not going to have people participating in something like that. Mm -hmm. we, it would be so cool if we could pull Just that an off. Idea, so I'm cool. Sure something that big if we can pull it off mm -hmm. perfume would notice yeah they will not let that just pass by yeah that would Achen be would so cry. cool man <laughs> Achen would cry mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe Nochi won't leave <laughs> <laughs> so soon she'll, maybe she'll look at us <laughs> maybe <laughs> and <greet> Nochi that's that Buddhist Nochi will bolt out Achen will cry Tashiyuka we'll will post off. on Instagram oh <laughs> <laughs> So, um, typically now, a special encore really is now tradition. Something, I don't want to say we have to do, but it's like kind of expected. It would be know. strange if it didn't happen. It would be strange be if expected. it didn't happen, yes. So, uh, that said, the songs that we're considering for special encore, we're going to call it out now. Anybody who's watching this from the other venues. We're calling out Babyface English. So that's going to be one of our ideas. That's the idea that we are thinking of going forward with. So uh, if there's any change to that, we'll let you guys know. If you guys want other songs, please, you know, put it up in Perfume Fans, Facebook group, the subreddit, uh, Perfume City Forums. Let us know somehow. Uh, and uh, you know, if, if more people want to do another song than Baby Vase, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Let us know as soon as possible, though, because we gotta get uh, the things planned. We have to see what lyrics we're doing from the song. We have to do the flyers if we're gonna do the flyers, um, so on and so forth. Uh, so again, with flyers, uh, that will hopefully be taken care of if we do donations that will come later on in, in this meeting. But uh, the the cool thing about flyers is we did them the first time we had this contest and you know we picked the one that everybody picked and 
it was a nice flyer. Uh, the second one was the big one because uh, we had, what was the song again? You guys remember? Was it Puppy Love? No, that was the first one. That was World Tour Third. Uh, Are you talking about the one that Stephanie made? Yeah. Oh boy, I can't remember. Again. So we had a flyer created for us by one of the fans, and Kashiuka actually <laughs> posted it on Instagram. That was so cool. Not both uh, as an effort by all of us, as well as you know the artists. Who designed the flyer? And oh man, that was awesome! So uh, I don't think we'll have time to do another contest. So hopefully we can get the artist who did the last flyer to do it again. I don't want her to feel like she's obligated to do this. So if you're watching this, um, please, if you cannot do it, please don't do it. You don't have to. We can find some other people and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead. Pages showing us the Cosmic Explorer uh, flyer that was featured on hey. Instagram. Oh, Perfume. Ooh, if you can see right there. I don't remember what song. Camera one. Because I remember the design page. one. Uh, so, yeah, Babyface English. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any other songs that you guys want to do? or think would be better. <laughs> you can blame Jen for Babyface English. <laughs> I think Babyface is a relatively nice song. Mm -hmm. You can probably okay. put it in the first, um, first place on top. Let so, me say something about Babyface though. Mm -hmm. It is uh, a relatively difficult song to sing because the rhythm isn't what you think it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's some words that are held longer at strange times. Mm -hmm. Because it's in English too. Mm -hmm. Because it's in English. Mm -hmm. So that's something that, you know, we're, we're assuming people are going to practice. And the reason why we picked the previous songs um, from previous years was because they would be easier to sing. So... Um, that's another thing to keep in mind. If you guys have another idea that would be easier than Babyface, please let us know. How about you guys? Uh, what are some easy songs to sing that we have not said yet? Yeah, um, go with your edge. We can't sing the edge. It's going to take too long. <laughs> it's like us standing there waiting for the song to start because we're listening to Let's it. Sing <laughs> Enter the Spirit. Or we can sing. Mm -hmm. Have we done it before? That's only like one word. No, it's in like the chorus. Oh, like the, the, one the, word. The, no, it's the chorus of the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The chorus of the song would be really sweet, though. And it's in, the chorus. I mean, like, um, I think they're coming by spring, so it's relatively kind of matches like the light sounding of it. It's somber, but it's also that's like, not a bad idea. Yeah, actually, I do like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if anybody has done it before. The other thing with special encores, we try to do songs that other venues have not done uh, anywhere in the world. We're talking World Tour first, second, third, any of the arena shows or any show in general that has has had a special encore in Japan. We're trying not. We're trying to you know have a unique song. Mm -hmm. That's going to be hard because a lot of venues have done their songs and. Yeah. You know, they also pick easy songs to sing. So the number of easy songs to sing are kind of limited. You can pick a rap part from 575. I know. Let's do it. It'll just sound like we're missing. Go, Shichi, go. No, Koto Ba. Don't worry, man. Just do it. You can just do rap and perfume. We can do that. So if you mumble rap, Oh, man. Don't go there. But mm -hmm. definitely a relatively, uh, relatively easier song to to sing to, easy mm -hmm. rhythm to follow. Mm -hmm. That has not been done yet. That is the biggest question. Macaroni, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a good song to lure in all these mm -hmm. um, like the fans from ages ago who want to come back to it or want want something more nostalgic right. to sing to. 
Because like that's if you ask me, I also like love the world. But that's, yeah, that's uh, let's look at the feasibility of Babyface. Mm -hmm. uh, see how well that goes, and then cross reference with Macaroni. Mm -hmm. We call Macaroni too. <laughs> 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 no, we can't call both songs. Mm -hmm. So let's call Babyface. Baby Babyface might be a bit hard. Though. Might be a bit hard, but. Like Most we, likely. Why can't we put dips on two songs? You know, because what if somebody else wants to do it? Well, Take dips more on baby face. Second dibs partially on macaroni. <laughs> Partial <laughs> dibs macaroni. Half macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we're gonna give coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna give away macaroni <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Macaronis <laughs> and babies. <laughs> baby macaroni. Macaroni salad. A macaroni salad. <laughs> And mac and cheese. Oh. Mac and cheese. How's the chat room going? Total American. There? Uh, nobody <laughs> here. <laughs> there is. Um, people. There's someone very excited about baby face. Um, yay, baby face! Someone asked, "Would this take place at the day before or on the day of the show?" I'm not sure what part that was at though. Which is the this part? Because the the chat was lagging. Oh, sorry guys. The chat is a little laggy today, so. Um, we're trying to go back and see what you guys have said. Uh, what was that about the... Uh, what day will be taking place? It will be taking place the day before or the day of the show. But I'm not sure oh, what, uh, what, you what that was on. I think that's probably the after party. Uh, please let us know and chat again. Well, uh, can after so, party be before? The so after before. party is always right after the concert. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pre-gatherings are anytime before uh, or the day of just before the concert um, and then special encore happens right when the concert ends. We usually give it a couple minutes and then try to get together and yeah. do special encore. Yeah. And then someone also said 20 through 30, which was the, the song. Oh, oh and then right. Then figure out. 20 through 30, 30, good one. Um, yeah. yeah. And I think we can thank uh, Courtney for getting that going, right? What? Yeah. The song. The song. She, um, they tried when, it once and then it didn't yeah, work. Yeah, we had through. to do it twice. Yeah. But the second yeah. time was the charm. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Courtney. That's probably you know, in there. I don't know if, I, <laughs> I don't know if everyone's okay with this name dropping. <laughs> like, I mean, they were in the group, so. Well, yeah, talking, I, yeah, I was talking about what mm -hmm. right. Uh, Peach, just let us know. Go ahead and, like, interrupt if anybody says anything in chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, this is the, this is the meetup. The yeah, meetup, yeah. yeah. Meet so would be before. Meet meetups would be beforehand. But how much before? Like the day before, or that's to be decided because we don't know how many people. It depends how many people, and if it's just one person that wants to meet up, you know, wherever we can always meet up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Could we this guy took the whole week off, so yeah, we could just hang out. I did take the whole week off primarily for planning, like the after party, and you know, getting flyers done and whatnot. But you know. Uh, we'll probably have time to do some sort of gathering, oh, if that thing informal. Too. That thing too, at least like for people who are at least employed by school or our students, they're probably, it might match the spring break. Potentially, oh. it's possible. Yeah, there might be a spring break. <laughs> yeah, um, perfume, for some reason, fell on the same day that like the school I work at goes on their spring break. Because mm -hmm. otherwise I would have to take like, you know, PTO and like this time. Right. It's like... Perfect timing. Your school's going to the Damn. Time, that's why. I work three days a week. I'm hoping that I'm off for the concert. Like, we'll, and, it, we'll and we were considering not going to San Jose because, like, how can we go if we all if we can't? Go, like, right. Like, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. But then it's like, boom. Hey, hey, uh, boom, boom like this. School. <laughs> Our school doesn't have a spring break. Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. No. They, they go straight through. We, we don't have a long break. break. I think it we just. It one. depends on which school, but some know. people from like the West Coast, they have their spring break early, and it actually matches it the schedule out, for the perfume. Because we know another person who um, who's going to the Chicago and New York one, and it matched her spring break. Perfume. That was perfect for her. Uh, perfume AU says, "I'm coming all the way from Australia for two <gasps> shows." Wow. Good okay, we gotta show you around. Good for you. Let's hang. Are on. you staying here the whole week, or are you going to San Jose? So, which no. shows are you going to? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, which shows is it going to be only LA or are you going to all of them? Oh man, that would be so cool. Because it's three shows. 
And yeah. I will give you, I'm trying to send some love to you Australian mm-hmm. guys over there. Hopefully we'll get yeah. a concert out to you guys. I want to go Australia. I am. <laughs> if they're going, I'm going to you. <laughs> show us so love. Show we'll show you love. There you go. Please One show me around. Okay, so New York, <laughs> Dallas, and LA. Wow. New York, nice. Dallas, and LA. Awesome. Those are good shows. So good, good for man. LA. It's not much of an idea you. banner. Like, there's not much artwork going on. But mm-hmm. how about we just, like, print a map and then we get, like, each fan to... To like put like some sort of marker on the map from where they came from. Mm-hmm. Then we can probably oh. see like the fans from all around just gathering. So like a world LA. map? Yeah. Yeah, like how a world map. With stickers. How about this? Let's okay, let's go let's do the banner again. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, actually, hold on one second. Let's go on to the next <laughs> next item on the agenda. I'll write that down. No Miscellaneous way. fan merch. Okay. So for the previous uh, all of Every show that's been in LA, we've done something. We've always done M and M's, which I messed up on in Cosmic Explorer. I apologize because uh, I forgot them in the car. <laughs> no, you forgot them at home. At home, I yeah. did. I forgot them at home. And uh, I ate a lot of M and M's. Oh man, Cosmic. we still have them. We still have those M and M's. No, so I, I, you gave them to me, and I, I, still, have, have, I still have. I them. still have them. You still have them. I still have. Them. Bring them. Maybe, eat them. maybe we'll you do like. A, eat them. No, we're not. Don't eat. Don't them. eat. Them. Anyway, I need to go. You know, we we've done them. that. We've done shirts. We had wristbands for each of the events for World Tour Third. Mm-hmm. So there's those lucky few who have all four of those wristbands. Excuse me. Um, uh, we've done T-shirts. So we're just getting ideas right now on what you guys are interested in as far as having some sort of merch. Uh, last, I keep on wanting to say last year. Uh, in Cosmic Explorer, we did um, light up shirts. They were really cool. I still have them. However, <laughs> Max was the one who had to deal with all that and it was a mess to deal with. Okay, the company that she went with <laughs> it was a little difficult uh to have okay the problem was was that we had some special sizes and those sizes kept changing a lot because and especially for anthony who's over there on his phone just kind of green. <laughs> laughing with <laughs> 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 uh, it was, uh, you know, his shirt needed to be um, specially made because, like, the, the size of the shirt couldn't... There was something going on with the light-up uh, panel and his shirt. Uh, mm-hmm. And we had to go back and forth between them, mm-hmm. as well as a couple of other people who were like, Oh, uh, actually, can I change it from this size to this size? Which is, you know, that's perfectly fine. But the company kind of... I guess uh, the internal communication didn't happen Mm -hmm. and we ended up getting different sizes and we had to go back and forth saying, hey, we don't have this and this and this, which in this email says we needed to change, yada, yada, yada. Not, you know, it's not really anyone's fault, I want to say, because if we had the shirts that we originally ordered, actually, we did have the shirts that we originally ordered. We did. But there was um, like a matter of time too. The yeah. time that they produced it, it was yeah, pretty it was much like cutting uh, on the edge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And some people were still changing the sizes because they didn't realize that the size that the company was using was not the standard U.S. size. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was like a bit on the smaller. It's like between the Asian size and the American size. Mm-hmm. So everybody was kind of getting confused on how they should American order. Size. So, we don't think we're going to be doing light-up shirts this time, Please. merely for the fact because the, the not, not only time, but the Future Pop logo, yeah, it's not like Cosmic Explorer's logo. Let's just say it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that because I designed it, so let's just say it's crap. We need something better. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It so doesn't nice. go with a light up shirt, let's just say. So we need something better than uh, PowerPoint. We can do a shirt and it could have, you know, a design, maybe just a silk screen thing. But of course we don't want to Okay. With any merch, 
we, we want to do something that doesn't kind of um, uh, leech off of perfumes, you know, merch. We don't want to do that. T-shirts are kind of okay because usually they're they're like a kind of large scale commodity kind of thing. So if we order a shirt, uh, it won't really cut into the cost of it won't cut into someone buying a t-shirt from perfume. Mm -hmm. So, but if it's something like, oh uh, gosh, backpacks. what do they have? Backpacks. We towels. will not do backpacks. Back we will backpacks. not do towels. Backpacks. Backpack. Backpack. Mm -hmm. uh, because the cost, if someone, you know, let's say we come out with a backpack that is like way better than perfume is releasing. That would kind of suck. Especially for the cost, it would probably be upwards of sixty to a hundred bucks, mm -hmm. and that would be leaching into, you know, perfumes profitability. We don't want to do that. So that said, uh, little things, wristbands, lanyards. We're going into the lanyard idea. So I'm going to push this one off to Jen, who, <laughs> uh, you know, was coming up with the idea. Like, what were you thinking about lanyards? What have you looked into? No. Oh. Um, <clears throat> like, what have you designs? found? Designs? I don't know. Um, so, we have two, or we have multiple options. But, um, there's the, just like the printed ones. I don't know if anyone's ever gone to Anime Expo. Uh, here in LA, they hand out these very colorful. Do you have one? Your um, Anime Expo, anime expo lanyard. yeah. lanyards that are very colorful and such. Well, this isn't an anime expo lanyard, but it is yeah, one of them. Yeah, but it counts. Okay, that's fine. Is that a big one? Oh my gosh. It's Don't crazy. steal the key from My keys. <laughs> um, so they're like colorful. It's very soft material. Maybe you can see that. I don't um, think it's a two-color. It's like a fabric. Two-color Oh, it's Miku, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Miku! Okay. Okay. And then there's also like these kind of same, similar thing where they're kind of printed on there. Uh, but the ones that, you know, are more um, lasting are the woven ones. They do cost more color-wise, a little bit more limited, um, but better quality. And then a lot of these fan-made perfume goods, we try to make them more, um, I don't know, quality because mm -hmm. it's something that we plan on keeping. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a souvenir. So um, I guess the next meeting I'll have more updates on that and hopefully a design by then and uh, cost. So yeah. it does sound like we are going forward with the lanyards. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas, we would love to know. Could be anything. Shoot. Come up with the expensive ideas. Maybe that will lead to other ideas. Uh, and there's never a bad suggestion. And then Jordan from the UK says, um, coming for five shows, uh, five of the US shows, unfortunately not, none of them are, is the LA show. Darn it. So we'll just, catch you next time, Jordan. Everything. Hopefully the next show, the next world tour will be in Europe and, um, and Australia. Hey, well, you know, throw some down South America too. Why not? We want to visit all those places. Let's go traveling. Let's do a perfume tour guide tailgating <laughs> <laughs> perfume tour that would be pretty perfume awesome tailgate. like perfume fan meetup cross country around the, <laughs> around the world perfume fan meetup we'll just travel in like <laughs> oh, dude, dude, perfume tour bus <laughs> perfume tour bus <laughs> party bus that'll be so cool that'll we'll be so it. cool we'll be family by then <laughs> You want to be my favorite? Perfume so, Amazing Race. <laughs> Perfume Amazing Race. So, again, um, I don't think we'll be doing t-shirts, but, you know, maybe that might change later. Of course, if you are interested in any of this stuff, let us know as soon as possible. Um, I know you guys need, like, um, pricing and other info if it is, like, a shirt because you need... To know how the sizing works for that company but if you are interested in doing some sort of fan merch let us know so we know first what to do and how many to get so moving on uh, we're uh, getting at the uh, tail end here so we're just gonna talk about the next pre-planning meeting 
Um, it's either going to be February or March. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar. I'm just looking it up here on our streaming machine real quick. Do we have any open days on no, February? 23rd? Uh, 22nd, 23rd. Free on Sundays? Anthony's free on Sundays. 23rd <laughs> is we a can't do Saturday. It next, week. next week we're we're fully booked. Next week. Um, 23rd, 22nd Friday, and then 24th we can after in the evening or I afternoon. From the 18th to the 24th. So 24th? Like about a week. Oh, yes. Yeah, How about you guys? 24th? I have, I have school 25th. Hmm? I'm going to Disneyland. Oh. Must be. <laughs> Wait, are you going to pass? Be on the weekends, um, February 18th is President's Day, and I have that day off for some reason. And it's my birthday. I'm working. What day is it? Huh? What day is it? 25th. What day is it? Monday. Monday. I get off at 2 30. Meet us at. Bring me. Micah. Former co workers. Oh, oh Micah. I don't know, I guess. <laughs> oh, so, no. anyway, um, uh, Sorry, side note. <laughs> either 18th or. No, uh, no 17th. I can't do the 18th no, 17th is. Birthday party. Birthday, birthday yeah. for that one. Yeah. My birthday's the 18th. Her actual birthday is the 18th, though, but. Well, we're having, we're having her a party. 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 17th. Party. party. We should have a birthday party. when it comes around. So, uh, so <laughs> it looks like Nathan, are you good on the twenty fourth? Twenty fourth is a uh, which day? That's Sunday. Sunday. It's a Sunday. After twenty fourth. Up to you. Sunday. I yeah, can't Sunday. walk. Sunday. Sunday. Sure. You don't drive. Would you be okay <laughs> having it here oh. again? Or because okay, so. Uh, the problem with uh, having a meeting is that we would love to stream so you guys could participate. Uh, but we have to find a place that has the has internet and has and enough. Has decent internet. And yeah. On the weekends, it's not busy. On the weekends, it's not busy. And has enough you know, bandwidth for us to stream this stuff, uh, at least in HD. And that'll, of course, take up a lot of bandwidth. We don't really have a... Hard cap here in North America, unlike a couple of you guys, I think, in Australia and Canada. Oh, man, Canada. You guys, I love Canada, but, man, the internet. Woo! Yeah, Your cool. companies are down up there are worse than American companies. And that's saying something! And it's really cold. <laughs> Hard caps. Ugh. Shouldn't be. Uh, Japan and South Korea, man, that's the way it should be. Okay, let's do our last stream there. Okay, we're going to be gonna doing like... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm 24. <laughs> so, it looks like the 24th will be our next pre-planning meeting. Um, and uh, Anthony will be paying for our trip to Thank Japan. You. Thank you, Ask Anthony. <laughs> uh, so, let's go ahead and plan that. Uh, we will be doing afternoonish. Lower. Uh, it's probably it's late afternoon, around the same time that we're having it now. I hope that's okay with everybody since the next day is Monday. Because it's, you know, people like uh, in Australia perhaps might be already be on Monday. Is, is this something that we load <clears throat> up and then it can be watched later and they can comment after? Yes. You can archive it. Yeah, you can. If you can yes, archive it, is, we can always just check the chats. And this is going to show up in, you know, the... Uh, in my channel, and it's, you know, anybody can rewatch it. They can, you guys can still re rewatch our pre planning meetings for Cosmic Explorer it's somewhere on the channel. Ooh. It's boring as heck, but <laughs> it's there for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead in February 24th. In Australia, it's midday on a Sunday, right now. Oh, um, sweet. Okay, so it Sunday. will be, oh no, actually, it will be Monday. So they will be working. Midday Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Darn. I, mean, I hope we that... Could do it, we can do it Saturday if you guys are free. Um, we would just have to do it at a later time if we want to have to be here. Because he has work. Oh, yeah. Because we're doing this now, you know? Yeah. So whoever is uh, okay. Let's, you know what? Let's do it the 23rd. February 23rd, around the same time. I'll have more information. Same time being... 
four to five. <laughs> not three o'clock. Oh, ten, man, ten hour gap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will aim for three o'clock. It will not happen till four. Give me a three hour buffer. Okay. So moving on. We need a window, a very big window. <laughs> for like I said before, um, in World Tour Third, we did donations. Uh, what I did was set up basically a PayPal, PayPal account and there was a donate button on the uh, on the website where people could you know click and you know give however much they were really? they want Nathan's dying over there on the spicy chicken sandwich I'm fine that's you know he's, he's spicy. Good. that's we're how good. he feels about donations guys he yeah. has a burn for so it. <laughs> donations is not something like I kind of it's not something I want to do. I, I hate asking for money. Um, but what it does is it allows us to offset some of these costs, like offset. the special Encore flyers, any banners that we're going to have. Oh, we didn't get into the banners. Mm -hmm. Let me let me back up a little bit, guys, here. Uh, the banner, because uh, who was it? I think, Max, did you say about having the pin on the map and different things? Oh, where right. they're from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do that mm -hmm. for... Uh, LA. Let me let me back up a little bit here. Yeah, because since it's the last leg. Uh, so how about in okay in World Tour Third, um, the Perfume Street team, which we are not P Perfume Street team, uh, organized a banner and they came around and had all of us sign it, and they turned that into perfume into the perfume staff, and that was kind of cool. Maybe we could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, how amazing. to get it to other venues is are we going to have it at other venues? I would expect that more people would go to New York mm -hmm. than they would here because it's at Hammerstein again, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the biggest venue. <laughs> yeah, well, shoot, I would love to. <laughs> mm -hmm. if I just I... move my work case around. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I guess whichever idea would work. I mean, the New York one can have theirs, the LA one can have ours. Yeah, oh, I mean, we, can't, we don't um, have to. It's not like we're so we go to New York first before we come here. Mm-hmm. Okay, the last one. So it would have to be, wherever it starts, would either have to be sent there or made there. Mm -hmm. Then brought down. Mm -hmm. well, how are we going to do the whole mapping? And thing? Toronto. We forgot Toronto. Mm -hmm. We didn't forget Toronto, but... We I don't follow. Like, how are we going to do the whole map? Like it's going to be difficult no, it's gonna be because a world it's map. not like, mm -hmm. it's not like, um, well, World Tour 3rd where we had to line up, Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So getting to the fans will be more difficult mm -hmm. unless people are willing to meet up and things like that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a fatty. Mm -hmm. oh, we just I love snacking, man. Snacking is my thing. I love it. Now, <clears throat> stickers, that'll fall off them. So you, you want to pin it? Because banner is going to be like a the, vinyl material. But if it's know? a if you're putting individual, if you pop it, pins it heavy. through mm -hmm. it, it will be almost impossible to move it. So well, any we sign it. Sign it. It's going to take up the whole thing. Yeah, you're not even going to see the map, the world map anymore. We'll just do little yeah, star stickers. Like, you have to figure out like what is the idea. Oh, the map. map is the idea, but color pins color are color. heavy and it'll make the banner stiff. On top of that, we have to purchase. We have to purchase and design pins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about chat room? What do you what do you guys think? Give us your thoughts. Is that feasible? It sounds like a good idea because it sounds like a lot of people are again coming from, you know, across the ocean to our neck of the woods. So I mean I would like to see it if we can if we can deal. And yes, all of those, you know, uh concerns are valid. No. no, it looks like they're blowing, blowing the leaves outside. Perfect timing. So back to uh, donations. For World Tour Third, we did. Uh, okay, so back up on the banner a little bit. Oh, back um, up on the banner. Backing up. AU says, I don't understand this kind of thing. Basically, we have this idea since so many people are coming from different parts of the world um, to have a, a banner of the world map and then kind of putting stickers or some sort of marker saying like this is where I'm from. Um, and hopefully we'd be able to get it to perfume themselves so they could see exactly where their fans are coming from. Mm -hmm. So it's just like it's kind of a 
a cute display of like someone from Australia, like Australia came, someone from the U.S. came, someone from the U.K. came, and just kind of like um, just to kind of put into perspective exactly who they're showing, looking yeah. at, and it's just an idea for now too. It's just to showcase how global, um, how, how global, global perfume is. Gonna be. I mean, yep. they did the same thing by doing the fusion performance by them traveling around the world. One from Tokyo, one from New York, and then one from London. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. trying to reciprocate that for them. Mm-hmm. Fan participation would be easy as long as we able, we're able to get to them. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Because like, you could just say, oh, I'm from here, and then mark it. And the banner that Perfume Street team um, created for everyone to sign at each of the venues in uh, each. It was only L.A. and New York, right? I want to say it was San Francisco. San Francisco too. I don't think so because they gave it to them in LA. San Francisco was not part of the and we had the we had the 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 banner. They had gave gave it to us to have it signed by people that were grabbing snacks. Okay, so it was only New York and yeah. Remember because we had a little table and we had them signing. So it was a four foot four foot banner. Four foot banner by two foot banner. Four foot by two foot banner, and they went to L.A. and New York and had as many people sign it as possible. It was it was a nice gesture. Uh, so, uh, what did it have on it? It just had like a, a design. Uh, I think it was a cityscape, something like that. And it was black on white, and they came around with like uh, you know those silver marker things, silver and gold ones. Yeah, I mean, but, we could use that as a second idea. If the the map banner is not feasible, then we could do the ones that were, that worked before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's something and we, we can, can also order. Mm-hmm. Like and we can just make it in a in a future pop design. Remember mm-hmm. that future pop MV where there was like a cityscape? Yeah, yeah. Except like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're doing do like this yeah. same like scheme like it is. But who knows? We could replace it as LA, mm-hmm. like the cityscape city of LA, stage. but <laughs> the colors of the perfume pop MV. Yeah, we yeah. also had a, a World Tour 3rd LA banner that actually Max created. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was really cool. And we brought that around. And We gave it back to you, right? We gave it to you? I think I still have it. Yeah. Randomly good, good. bring it there. So I can <laughs> yeah. World Tour 3rd! Uh, and then cross out the 3 and put a 4. <laughs> Keep the RD though. <laughs> Yeah. We got turned away from Disneyland because we had yeah. Oh yeah, we had to put it in the car. Yeah, they wouldn't let us in Disneyland. It's a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sit it's on this during the parade. Yeah, oh, there you go. It's just just set that. Okay, it's so. Um, trying to start this one again. So, okay. donations. Uh, we only did donations for World Tour 3rd. And that allowed us to uh, get... M and M's. It allowed us to get the flyers and the banner. The snacks. It uh, got us a ton of snacks. Oh man! So that was a lot of. Skittles. During World Tour Third, oh. over at the Hollywood Palladium, it was like ninety <laughs> degrees outside, and everybody lining up. They were like dying. In the middle of the day, the line turned that into like this row of oh like cardboard and umbrellas because it was so hot. And luckily, we. With those donations, we bought a ton of snacks, a ton, like drinks, drinks uh, uh, Rice Krispie Treats, Candy. Skittles, candy. Chips, chips, chips air water, all sorts of stuff. Oh, the Airheads. With the stickers on everything. Oh, yeah. yeah we had little stickers. Perfume sni- stickers. Snickers. Snickers. <laughs> uh, and... Ice. Lots and oh man, lots that, that helped a lot. Oh. It helped a lot. We were so lucky we did that because it was so hot. And it was funny because during World Tour Third, New York was so Freezing. cold. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been there handing out hot chocolate and coffee. I know, right? <laughs> that no, we didn't go to that. We didn't go to uh, New York. People we... lining up from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys went to New York? No, our friends did. Oh, um, man. No, <laughs> I, I'm not okay with the cold. Me and Cole, we, we don't agree. I like but, the cold. Um, I don't like the donations I don't like the humid. offset, you know, some of those costs. Uh, and also for the uh, after party and the pre-party, you know, it helped lower the entrance fee for that. So it was twenty-five dollars when it could have been probably fifty bucks per person, huh? 
Mm-hmm. No, I think we paid 50 bucks per person. No, we paid 25. Oh, no, I paid 50 25. bucks total. Mm. You had two peoples. Yeah. We're going to calculate that real quick. But, so it would have been um, $50 a person. Right now, we're in, as you can see on the and last the bullet point one. there, uh, I'm just trying to think of the feasib- feasibility of this, you know? Um, if it is feasible, if it is something that we do want to do and, you know, we can do, um, know that, uh, see, here, here's the other thing is taking responsibility for a financial thing. This is me talking off at the top of my head. Um, I know a lot of you guys trust me with this stuff, but you know, it's still there that you're giving someone money. It's like trying to donate to Quick, uh, Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something like that. You're giving somebody money. If you're not comfortable with that, please don't do it. Please do not do it. But, you know, if we do decide to go through with donations, it will be through a PayPal account. I will send you guys information on how to do that. Uh, there will probably be a donate button on the Welcome to Perfume World dot wordpress.com site uh and um you know Max have an idea. don't do more than you the, like, need to really but that was um, the problem with kickstarter mm-hmm. is it takes a very long time I see. Oh. a very long time and you typically have to do some sort of reward tiers mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, we don't want to do that because we want all of the funds to go to the merch. You know, we don't want certain people to get certain things because they happen to donate, you know? No, I thought there was like only one tier and that's it. I guess you can't do that. Well, much. usually from well, what I've seen, it's like you say you donate $5, you get this item. You donate $10, you get that item and something else. And mm-hmm. it, as it gets higher, depending on how much you give, yeah, is what you I yeah. with the tier system, but I thought like they had one that just like it's a, like a standard general tier. Yeah, like, who knows? it's something it's we can idea. look into. It's an idea. Yeah. Well, we have several different merch ideas, mm-hmm. so we just kind of have to figure out if we use donations to kind of push in the cost of merch, then like how would that be distributed and what we're actually gonna mm-hmm. make <laughs> as my house falls <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the noise, guys. Tremors. So, um, you guys have uh, information coming at you should we decide to do donations. Uh, that's, that's really about it. So, that is the conclusion of this pre-planning meeting. I do have some homework for you guys, as you can see from the slide here. Uh, please let your local circles know about you know future pop la events what we're trying to do what we're planning what we're thinking of perhaps those friends can give you guys ideas or maybe they know of something perhaps a venue uh or items uh um like merch stuff not merch but really fan made items perhaps you know an artist that could you know design something should we you know happen to have to go with somebody else so you know let your your friends know your your classmates you know those who are have an affinity for Japanese stuff like you know your Japanese classes any clubs that you may be in somebody that you're passing by who happens to be studying Japanese say hey let me interrupt your homework for a second come to future pop Los Angeles uh, Let's also go posting around, say, hey, Future Pop LA, we're, we're going to go. Uh, put it up on, you know, Perfume Fans uh, Facebook groups. Put it up on Reddit. Put it up on, you know, Perfume City forums. Put it up on other forums. 4chan, whatever. <laughs> get it out there. Get the, you know, J-Pop Suki, if you guys are on that. Who knows? Get it all out there so that... Um, we can know as soon as possible who is interested in the stuff that we are planning. Uh, and that's really the biggest thing, is trying to get as many people, you know, in and, and hanging out and having fun 
as possible, but at the same time doing it as soon as possible because, you know, timing timing is uh, of the essence is the most important thing, and the the more time we take, the more expensive things we'll get. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of people out there with every show, every single show. It doesn't matter. Always people come by and. We're like, oh, you had something going on? Oh, man, I wish I knew that was happening. So let the community know. Uh, and with that, uh, that concludes our pre-planning meeting. Uh, I'm glad you guys joined us. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it wasn't too noisy. Uh, and we will see you guys February 23rd. I'll go ahead and let this stream kind of uh, run for about five minutes. So if you guys are in chat, I know because the chat is kind of lagged behind a little bit so we'll let it run if you guys have any comments last minute comments to put in there we will go ahead and uh, address those and uh, for the most part thanks for showing up bye <laughs> and the chat is going and uh, now that this uh, uh, stream has turned into a mukbang uh, please enjoy watching us eat <laughs> We're eating I'll the whole time. Want to no, I want to long one. Why? Dude, I can't I can't even do one. I can't even do one. I can't even do one. You like plain, though. It's not spicy. Why not spicy? Anthony, give me the chicken. Chicken, good. I gave Anthony like 50 cents. It's for Matt. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 DLC one. Thanks, man. And do her bark stuff. It's gross though. Well, who else do you want to know? Anything in chat? Nothing in chat. So it's kind of sweet. It's mustardy without mustard. No. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How many people uh, showed up? Uh, the most I saw was seven, but we're two oh, of them. The okay. Currently, there's four. There was uh, one, two, three people in chat. And then Bailey. <laughs> Bailey was in chat? Yeah. Oh, cool. She's also texting me. Bailey texts me. She's like, when you look into the camera, I think, um, I think you're looking at me. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> We can go to Chick fil A for those who have never had Chick fil A. We can go to Chick fil A. Dude, we, go to Dude, we will go to In N Out. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to In N Out. Perfume went to In N Out. That's one of our um, tourist attractions. <laughs> I want to say it's a tourist attraction. Come to the, the In N Out right next to my Chick fil A and you can have both. No way, we'll go something No, we're going to watch our video and find which in and out they went to. <laughs> the same exact in and out. <laughs> yeah, it was, I think it was the LAX one. It's probably the one. one, yeah, right next to the airport. Where you get Who went to that one? Neil would know. Who went to that one? Yeah. We're going to go down that route. Are we going to also go to the Whole Foods Market where Aten was? Why are we so eating yes. if you're going to go to Korean market? Huh? Let's go. Everybody stop eating now. What? Why? Oh, yeah, We're all going to get pretty lucky. I have to do homework. Okay. You just self-invited. Uh, I don't know who that is. I have to go to church. 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 Okay, so it looks like uh, <laughs> the chat room is uh, pretty silent. So most of uh, the people who have been watching, looks like they've uh, gone and done their thing. Thank you for coming along. This chat should, or this um, stream should be... Yeah. Archived and watchable. Um, I don't know, within the day, probably. Hopefully, that'll show up soon. Thanks for coming. Bye.